So the next patch, 108L, is now in public beta on Steam. This has a lot of improvements, but first, very important, please note that this beta is not backward compatible with the last released patch, which is out there now, 108K. A lot of changes to the Wolf model for the Limpy animations, and so if you get the beta and play it some and then switch back to 108K, the game will break. So if you think you might do that, please back up your user files folder. Here's where you'll find that on Windows and Mac. And if you're not sure what you're looking at here, what I'm talking about, maybe just wait, skip this beta and wait until the general release of this patch, which won't be too long. And also multiplayer is incompatible, so you can only play with people who have the beta. So it has a lot of new stuff. One of them is in multiplayer now. If you're in pack life or territory quest modes, you can choose which season uh, you want to jump into. So in Amethyst, that's fall or winter, and in Slough Creek, that's winter or early spring or summer. But of course, the big new thing here is the in-game dynamic injury system. We've talked about that in the past couple of dev vlogs, so if you're, you haven't caught up on that, check them out here and in the links in the text below. We've been doing a lot of playtesting and tweaking and tuning of this, trying to uh, get the right frequency, what's just going to kind of feel right in the game. And our goal here is to have Typically, a player would get a number of minor injuries over the course of uh, a year, basically run, going through Slough Creek. And um, depending how they play, how recklessly or not, getting one or maybe two major injuries in that time. So that's our goal. And uh, we'd welcome feedback on, first of all, if you think that's a good goal. And then if you're playtesting it, we'd really appreciate detailed tracking of your game taking note of how many fights you get into with competitors and how many and how many hunts you do, any place you can take damage and take note of what's happening with those and when you get a minor injury and when you get a major injury and if you think you were behaving recklessly or cautiously or somewhere in between. One of our beta testers, Rowan, has made this really nice spreadsheet on Google, which you can uh, copy over to make your own Google document to track this kind of thing. And this kind of thing would be great. And if you do this, then um, you can just send us a link to your version of this document by email. Uh, see the links to the document and uh, our email in the text below. But even short of this, just having a little scratch pad somewhere and taking notes on this kind of thing and then submitting us feedback with a summary would be really helpful. That kind of thing is much more helpful than just, look, I got an injury and I shouldn't have or I should have or something like that. You know, we really want to get a sense of how injuries are happening in the larger context and the arc of the game. Again, there's a number of other new things in here. One of them is uh, three new dens under the roots of a old... Douglas fir tree. Here's one of them. I think other players like myself have missed the, the tree root dens that we had in the old game. And so we finally got a couple back in here now. And we've also got this nice new Douglas fir bark texture. It has those deep grooves and, and orange coloration in there. So I don't know if everybody will appreciate that as much as I do, but I'm glad to have it. Other new things, other little things, some clarification of feedback here in the badge. The hunger meter has this little yellow section. When you've got pups, that indicates that extra room in your stomach to, to get a lot of extra food for pups. So you can gauge better how close you are to being full, you know, in addition to that extra food that you can get for pups. You can also see here the little slash on the mate heart meter. It's one slash for a minor injury and, uh, and three slashes for a major injury. So you can keep tabs on how your mate is doing. So there's all that and then a lot more. Read the build notes below here. We hope that a lot of you will try out the beta and uh, have fun with it and send us some feedback about it. And then we hope to get this out into general release next week, along, of course, with the new DLC pack.